There's no evidence, please say, that he was part of any organized white supremacist group. However, online, the gunman himself describes himself as an anti-Semite who praised the shootings in Pittsburgh last year and the mosque attack in New Zealand. Last night, police searched a home in Rancho Penasquitos, where the 19-year-old alleged gunman lives with his parents. He is a nursing student at nearby Cal State San Marcos. The sheriff says police are reviewing an open letter he posted online slamming President Trump, the Jewish faith, and conservatives. Quoting, to family and friends, I can already hear voices. How would you throw your life away? I'd rather die or go to prison than not stop this evil, unquote. Witnesses described the gunman as around five foot eight, sunglasses, wearing a tactical vest. Also, he's had multiple magazines at around 11.20 yesterday. He entered the synagogue, they say, shooting an assault rifle. Six shots, a pause, another burst. The sheriff believes the weapon jammed at that point. Some say he screamed anti-Semitic anti remarks. Others say he didn't. We didn't hear him screaming or saying anything. He was just focused to kill. You see, you saw the, the hate and you saw the, the, the murder in his eyes. And he had a vest. And he had like, like clips in the vest. You know, he was ready. He was ready. He, he came in to kill. The victim, a 60-year-old woman who died shielding the rabbi from gunshots. He was shot in the hand. Also, a 34-year-old man had shrapnel wounds to his legs, trying to protect several children. He grabbed all the kids in his hands. Okay. And we're just running, running towards the towards the, the exit, okay. And then he saw another kid over there. He went to grab the other kid. He, he, he grabbed him and started running. And then the, sh the shooter shot him in the shot him in the leg. He didn't care. He kept on running with the kids and just ran out. We all ran out. The other hero here, an off-duty Border Patrol agent, a member of the synagogue, also part of their security team. He retrieved, according to an official I know, a hidden weapon, handgun, here at the synagogue. He intervened, firing several shots, hitting the suspect's car as he fled. The suspect calls 911, admitting to what he did, giving his location, then confronted by a San Diego police unit. The officer says, hands up or I'll shoot. He gets out of the car, surrenders, the rifle still in the front seat. A vigil last night hosted by a nearby church. President Trump calling this a hate crime, offering his sympathy, sympathies to the synagogue as well as his condolences to the family. At this point, the suspect is booked in local county jail. One count of murder, three counts of attempted murder.